As Scott Joplin, the American ragtime pianist and composer, became known in 1898 for such tunes as Maple Leaf Rag and The Entertainer, another man of African descent heard the beat of a different drummer. His name was Thomas Ferguson, a Jamaican-born Salvationist living in Boston. Widely acclaimed as a composer, writer, and poet, Ferguson stands among the most famous Salvationists. He wrote both the music and lyrics to more than 40 popular Salvation Army songs. He always performed them with the enticing rhythm and movement characteristic of Caribbean music, often accompanying himself on the guitar. Salvationists worldwide have sung his most famous song, by the way of the cross. Commissioner John McMillan once said to Ferguson, when your song was sung before an audience of over a thousand people in Congress Hall, the impression was so great, it touched us in spots which words of eloquence rarely reach. McMillan referred to the 1914 International Congress in London. Evangeline Booth, so strongly impressed with Ferguson's singing, featured him there as lead singer in The Commander's Own, an elite group of 13 African-American singers who offered a powerful ministry. More than 20,000 Salvationists dressed in national costumes representing 54 nations, speaking 34 languages, felt spiritually touched by Ferguson's songs. Goodbye Pharaoh, Goodbye became the song of the Congress. Delegates sung it until someone said none but a cynic could have sat quietly and refused to make the movements which go with the song. Ferguson served the remainder of his life as chief engineer at the Boston Palace Corps, where he later became Corps Sergeant Major. But he never stopped writing poetry and music. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, 